Well, hello, Temple Hill Baptist Church family. We already did one interview with Pastor Bart and Debbie Gluckker, got the chance to meet their family a little bit. We thought it would just be a little bit more lighthearted and another chance to get to know them if we sat them down and just kind of in a family setting, asked them some lighthearted questions, some of the really important things that we really need to know. And so we're going to start with Pastor Bart here. And every pastor I've worked under so far has either been a Michigan State fan or worse yet, I hate to even say the name, but an Ohio State Buckeyes fan. So are you a Michigan, Michigan State fan? Uh, Michigan fan. Michigan fan. There we go. We'll fit right in. That's the only thing we need to know. We can throw the rest <laughs> of these out. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, most people here at Temple Hill know I'm avid Taco Bell fan. So Taco Bell or any other restaurant, basically. <laughs> well, if I'm going to work with Pastor Andy, I might have to say Taco Bell. But <laughs> I would probably choose more of an Arby's or Culver's uh, if I had a choice. All right. Well, there's a good second, third choice All option. Right. So. <laughs> With that, Pepsi or Coke? Coke. Coke. Oh, boy. You're one for three now, so. I know. No Mountain <laughs> I Dew. Pepsi. I do like Mountain Dew, but, yeah. There you go. You just made up for it. I don't so. drink it very often. <laughs> All right. Well, family movie night or family game night? Family game night. Yes. Do you guys have a favorite family game? or? We've been a lot of card games. The most recent one we've played often is um, Wizard. It's kind of a... Kind of like a euchre type game with Trump and those kind of things. For the those that think back further, kind of like a Rook um, style game. Gotcha. Okay. So dog or cat? Dog if we have to have one. <laughs> so not a pet guy. Not really. <laughs> yeah, me either. So thankfully we're all allergic. So phone call or text? Um. Phone call if it's going to be a conversation. Text if it's something to handle real quick. Yep. Cake or pie? Pie. Pie. You got a favorite kind of pie? Cherry pie. Cherry pie. There you go. One uh, relates to your wife and doing housework, doing laundry, or doing dishes. I do both, but prefer dishes. Yeah, me too. And then one that has plagued marriages for years Toilet paper on the roll, does it go over or does it go under? Uh, ours comes over. Perfect. You guys do it right. <laughs> <laughs> so I have a couple of favorite type questions for them as well. So favorite food besides cherry pie? Yeah, that would be my favorite. Yeah. Um, uh, grilled chicken. Grilled chicken, right? Do you have a favorite holiday? Uh, Thanksgiving. Not just for the food, um, <laughs> but just uh, that time to celebrate and be thankful together as a family. Good. You have a favorite vacation spot you guys like to go? or um, We enjoyed our trip to Tennessee a couple years ago for our anniversary, but as a family, we've the last several summers have gotten away to uh, just a cottage on a lake, and just it's quiet, it's calm, and just enjoy that time together. There you go. No condo in Florida. <laughs> no. <laughs> we were going to go to Myrtle Beach this spring break, but that got canceled. Yeah. So you already mentioned the favorite game to play as a family. How about a favorite book of the Bible? That's a tough one. Um, a number of them. don't want to single out one particular in a sense. They're all great. It's all God's word. But I would have to say, um, I like the book of James. Um, it's short, um, but it also has a lot of practical application to it. And then do you have a favorite memory as a pastor in your 17 plus years of experience? Yeah. Um, I think one of the ones that's been most special for me, a lot of them, I can talk of some different ones, but one was the opportunity to baptize a couple of my boys. Um, and so that was uh, very special and meaningful in that regard. Um, I think of other opportunities just to be able to share with people um, the gospel and uh, at times have them respond. When when you're there and with you, uh, that's pretty pretty impactful. Great. So some mildly serious questions, nothing too tough. We'll save those for Sunday, and we can really grill you, so you might want to wear short sleeves. But uh, what excites you about the possibility of serving here at THBC? Yeah, um, I think one of the things, just knowing a little bit of the history of Temple Hill, um, also the connections uh, with Pastor Andy, and also knowing Pastor Jack over the years, and those connections, and hear about what's going on here, and the opportunity to potentially serve uh, here to get to know people 
but also just to come alongside them in their journey uh, with the Lord and uh, help in any way we can to help them grow in their relationship, their love for Him, their love for others, and love for the church and the community around them. So. Awesome. So what uh, gifts, skills, abilities you know, do you kind of possess that would benefit the ministry and have benefited your ministry throughout the years? Yeah. Um, I think one of the things is I just enjoy serving um, and so can see myself doing that in a number of roles. Um, I'm not sure I'm as crazy as the skits that uh, Pastor Andy and Brent have done, but willing to do those. Um, but just serving in any capacity, whether that's through administration, uh, whether that's through teaching and leadership, um, whether it's just through interaction with people. Uh, and so look forward to those opportunities and putting those gifts and abilities and, and really with Pastor Andy as the lead pastor coming in and being a support to him as he leads and continuing to, to partner together uh, to see the church grow, but also the community impacted. Awesome. Are there any areas that you look back and say, boy, if there's one thing I can nail down, I'd really just like to improve in, uh, get better in by God's grace. there be something like that in your life. I know. I think the next question talks about this. So maybe I'll answer both of them. Um, and I think one of the things over this uh, break as the world has kind of stopped for a lot of people uh, has just been the realization of a couple of things. One, just again being reminded how awesome God is and to be reflective of that. Uh, I think of Psalm uh, 46, 10. It says, be still and know that I'm God. Um, that, took, that was hard for me. Um, I'm not a sit down, stay still guy. Um, and so in this time of kind of transition, that was a struggle. Um, but I also realized that some of my just keeping busy and doing things was also taking uh, a wrong view of the fact that God wants me to be uh, connected with him. And, and the relationship with him is more important than what I do. Uh, it should flow out of my relationship with him, but um, don't want to get those backwards. And so that's been a challenge to me uh, that, yeah, there's things to do in ministry, um, but the priority is uh, our relationship with God and then serving out of that uh, relationship and recognizing his His awe and his majesty and his purpose in, in all that's going on. So i got to work on that. Yeah, you and me both. So work, work for God doesn't negate our love for God. Right. Uh, those two go hand in hand. So what ways can we just pray for you and your family throughout this process? Yeah. Um, it has been, you know, a unique thing with the, the stops and the starts and the delays. Um, but we have really just had a peace through this, and that has been great. Um, and so just continue to pray that God would continue to give us that peace. Um, Lord willing, if things go well and, and we're able to come and serve here, we know that in that transition there will be a lot of things in a short amount of time that will happen. And so just pray for wisdom as we make those decisions and make those transitions. And just in beginning to serve here, uh, to get to know people, uh, enjoy that and, and looking forward to that. But uh, just getting in and getting settled quickly so that we can be a help in serving here. Yeah. Awesome. So be sure to be praying for that. One of the things we do pride ourselves on is being a praying church. And we have a very faithful, committed church family who does that. And I know they'll be upholding you guys in prayer uh, throughout this time. All right, I'm here with Pastor Bart's kids. Uh, they just uh, want you guys to have a chance to get to know them a little better. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and let them uh, tell you their names again, and also uh, one thing that you may not know about them. Um, I'm Brendan, and I like playing baseball. My name's Evan, and I really enjoy the homeschool. My name is Ethan, and I've been here a lot more times than I thought for different reasons. <laughs> so they have had the opportunity to come. Um, they play basketball here in the gym. Uh, they've been involved in basketball camp and stuff like that. So uh, they are familiar um, with especially this end of the church, the gym end. Um, so um, they're excited uh, for the opportunity to be here a little more often. Um, but uh, we're going to go ahead and ask them just a couple questions. Uh, so first, what is your guys' favorite food? Mine would be tacos or breakfast. Mm. Hamburgers on the go. I like, to, I like eating out at KFC. There you go. All right. What about your favorite holiday? What's the favorite holiday? Say it on three. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Christmas. Christmas. Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
Um, what about your favorite sport or hobby? Mine is probably basketball. Baseball. Snuggling with my dog. <laughs> there you go. All right, so are you guys competitive? Yes. 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 All right, yes. so seeing how you guys are competitive, um, have you guys ever done bottle flips? Yes. Yes. All right, yes. so go ahead and pass those Yay. down. Um, I left a little bit of extra water in there, so you guys can get the right amount of water if you want, if you want to drink a little bit or not, but uh, if you guys are ready to go, first one uh, to get the bottle flip wins. I've seen do perfect, and that's amazing, do this a thousand times. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, ready for a bottle flip? Three, two, one, go. Hey. Oh, all right. Got it, um, oh. <laughs> there you go. Side lean. Good job. Ding, ding. All right. Um, what about your guys' favorite subject in school? Math. English. English. Math. Math. <laughs> all right. What about a uh, favorite superhero? Do you guys like superheroes? The Flash. The Flash. Batman. Batman. Green Lantern. Green. <laughs> all right. That's so all color. all DC characters. So no Marvel characters. All right. Um, what about your favorite animal? Dog. Cow. Probably. Anaconda. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what an anaconda is. It's a, it's a, it's a type of constrictor. Big snake. Oh. Okay. Big is, I mean, right. a snake in the world. Yeah, it said snake and just helped me out a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> all right, um, so which one of you guys thinks you're the funniest? Me. Oh, all right. <laughs> so we got a funny one. Um, so go ahead and wear this since you're the funny one. So, all right. There, we got a funny one. Okay. All right. <laughs> Moving on. Do you guys have a favorite band or artist? Zonti. Zonti. Ty Brazel. Mm. Unspoken. There you go. Unspoken is one of my favorites too. So, all right. What about a uh, favorite game that you guys play with your family? Wizard. Wizard. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I had a whole bunch of games that I really played, but I don't have a favorite like game. Sky or something. I don't have a favorite game, really. <laughs> I'm not that picky. So pretty much any game, eh? Yeah. All right. Uh, what about uh, favorite story or verse from the Bible? Probably doing online. There you go. Probably just from the burning bush. There you go. It's a rubble. It's a <laughs> What's that? <laughs> you don't know. I learned that last year at spring. Uh, spring skip. Is that rubble? Zer rubble. Rebuilt the rubble. Yeah. All right. What about uh, favorite memory with your dad? Driving him in my papa's go kart. Ooh. Probably spending time with him at Chinese restaurants. Going out, going out for lunch when you earn it for like if you get birthday. No, no, for school. If you do, in school, if you yeah. do well enough, and our parents usually take us out for lunch. Well, hmm. my mom's a teacher, so it's usually my dad who does that. Yeah. All right, so if you guys uh, had the chance to meet them on Sunday um, and hopefully talk with them, uh, if not, they'll be here again um, this Sunday, so please take the opportunity to talk to them if you can, get to know them a little bit. If you have any extra questions for them, um, they're a pretty fun group. So um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and uh, oh, I'm not going to read so, And uh, thank you for watching. So we're going to transition and ask uh, Debbie some questions as well. So first question we always want to clarify, you know, we had a Deb on staff. So do you prefer Debbie or Deb? I prefer Debbie. I will answer to Deb. I won't ignore you and walk past you, but I do prefer to be called Debbie. All right. Good to know. That's good to know before Sunday is uh, yes. have the chance to interact. So people out of habit might accidentally say that, right. but, uh, but we'll work out. Understandable. That. Mm -hmm. So uh, we'll hit some of your favorites. So what would be your favorite food? Pasta. I'm a pasta girl, so I would say chicken alfredo, lasagna. Olive Garden is my my weakness. There you go. No wonder you and Kim get along. <laughs> That's her favorite as well. So, do you have a favorite holiday? I would say Christmas, and I think it's because we actually just get that extended time with so many of our different family members. Mm. So. Yes. Well, good. Do you have a favorite hobby that you like to do? 
Uh, baking and walking, probably. All right, very good. And a favorite activity to do with the boys? The same thing. We like to go outside and walk, tra take trail walks, bike rides, but playing games, I think, is our favorite thing to do right now. We've been a lot of game playing lately. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> our kids are stuck in the same, you know, two game mode, so. Yes. <laughs> we're not playing one, we're playing the other. <laughs> yeah. Thankfully, it's not Monopoly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, some days I might take that. But... <laughs> yeah. Well, do you have a favorite date night spot that you guys like to go? And, and I want to add a disclaimer. It can't be Meyer because it seems like all date nights end at Meyer grocery shopping. That is so. true. That is true. <laughs> but since I can't choose that, um, I would say the beach, the lake, a park somewhere outside. Mm -hmm. Just enjoying God's creation. Yeah, yeah that's good. Uh, what would be your favorite book of the Bible? That was a tough one too. Um, my first thought was Philippians, although I recently have been doing a Bible study and I think recently God's been speaking to me um, more out of First Peter. So mm -hmm. I think First Peter. Yeah, good. So do you have a favorite part of being married to a pastor? A, there's a lot of things in that one. Um, I think probably just the fact that we can serve the Lord together is something that we do together. Uh, we work well together as a team, and I think that, think that was just knowing that we're working for God ultimately and yeah, serving Him together. I guess. Yeah, awesome. It's important. So, do you have a favorite area of ministry that you like to serve in? Like, if you had one ideal spot you could be in in the church in a volunteer capacity, of course, where we'd be hiring your husband, not you. Right. Uh, but something you really enjoy, you're passionate about in ministry. Yeah, I enjoy interacting with ladies on a many, many different fronts, but probably the kitchen is my favorite place to be. So <laughs> either helping with meals at churches or um, or during church functions or in, even just in my own home, making meals for people and bringing them to people. Mm -hmm. Great. And we love to eat here, so you know we'll take advantage of that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So a couple mildly serious questions for you as well. Mm -hmm. So how did you and Pastor Bart meet? Uh, we both grew up in Grand Rapids area, and we met pretty much through our church, Calvary Baptist Church in Grand Rapids, and probably more specifically, our church owned a camp through Camp Calvary. I think that was where we, where we got to know each other more, was through camp. Mm -hmm. So who liked each other first? Did you guys ever have that conversation? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> probably or, me. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah, we're good. Well, what do you enjoy about teaching at your boys' school? You teach at Heritage Christian School. What's what's so fun about that for you? I do. I teach fifth and sixth grade at Cadillac Heritage Christian School, and I have had the privilege and challenge of having one of my boys in my class already, and then I have another child, um, Evan. My middle son is in my class this year. But probably my favorite thing would be um, just seeing them in the hallway, getting the hugs in the hallway, just knowing that you can, and I can kind of watch them, kind of be a mouse in the corner at times and see what's sure. going on, watch them interact with their friends. Um, just being a part of it, even though I, even if when I'm not their teacher, I can still be a part of what's going on, so. Yes, yeah, and Kim enjoys that too very much when she was subbing and just being able to check in and know a little bit more what's going on because mm -hmm. yeah. as you know, they tell you stories and right. <laughs> it's nice to be able to see it and have your own perspective uh, yes. for sure. Well, maybe what's something you've learned as a mom during this pandemic that might encourage other moms who are going through some of the same things you guys are facing? Yeah, I think as moms, we tend to put the pressure on ourselves, the Pinterest mom, or to be the perfect mom, and I can do the same thing. I want to have the perfect house, the perfect um, whatever. Uh, and I think just realizing that we don't need to be perfect for our kids, but being present with them and just spending that time investing in them, they really want your involvement more than... They don't know the, the difference between per perfection, I don't think. I don't think they're looking for that and expecting that. So just right. spend time with them, make memories with them. We've done a lot of that together, just having lots of time together. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe too much. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and just that realness, you know, the moments that happen. I saw on Facebook, you know, the grape juice spill oh, yeah. this morning. We can all relate to that. At least yeah. it wasn't yeah. on the carpet, right? Exactly. <laughs> can clean up there. It's good. Well, on a probably a more serious side, being a pastor's wife is incredibly hard, and uh, obviously I'm not in that position, but uh, seeing some of the things my wife goes through and relating to some of those things, what would you want people to know maybe about your husband that other people don't always get to see? Yeah, 
um, I had a few thoughts about that one. The first, my first thought was he works more than one day a week. Uh, <laughs> it's definitely not the, the joke of working only on Sundays. Um, he puts a lot of time and effort into things more than anybody realizes. Mm -hmm. In the office, out of the office, phone calls, evenings, on call. So um, the time is, is very different when you're in ministry. Mm -hmm. um, I also think, just for Bart specifically, just that he cares a lot for his family. So although he's busy ministering at church, he doesn't neglect his family. He's mm -hmm. very involved making sure that he's um, a part of what's going on at home when he's home too. Um, and then he's a selfless servant. He's not perfect by any means, but definitely one to, <laughs> to be, he just, just has a servant's heart in the, again, in the home and in his ministry too. But then he's human just like anyone else. Mm -hmm. And so he needs support and encouragement just like everyone else. Too. Yes. Yeah. That's good advice right there. Well, if your husband's called here to serve, and obviously you guys along with him, what ways can we minister to you and to your family? Um, I think just continue to encourage us, pray for us, walk alongside us, call us, um, invest in our family, love on our kids. Those are things we've always appreciated in, appreciated in our ministry is that um, our church family has really wrapped their arms around us and our boys especially and have become their family away from our family. Yes, and that's very important, yeah, that the church embraces, mm -hmm. you know, that and recognizes sometimes pastor's kids especially get that stereotype of being the worst kids in the church, but uh, again, not having that pressure and realizing they're human too, and mm -hmm. it's not fair to put those expectations on them. That's been, one of the things that's been very freeing uh, for us yeah. here at this church as well. So. I would just say too, I mean, yeah, they're kids and they're not perfect. They come from imperfect parents. Mm -hmm. um, but also the, you know, we look forward to the fact that you as a church family potentially have the opportunity to, to build into their lives. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's not just, oh, they're okay because they're the pastor. No, they, they sometimes will talk more to other people because they're not mom and dad, even though dad's a pastor. Mm -hmm. um, and so we look forward to those opportunities too, where people can come alongside them and really model and mentor them even more so than we can. It's our responsibility, but sometimes a different voice, sometimes heard a little different than mom and dad. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. I cherish those other voices. Like, you know, I get the same answers from my kids. Fine. Good. Right. <laughs> so sometimes I learn more about my kids from other people than I do <laughs> from my conversations, but that's so important. We all need that in our spiritual journey mm -hmm. as well. Well, you answered a uh, majority of the questions, so you probably won't even have to say anything in person now on Sunday there, Debbie. So, <laughs> <laughs> <I'm off the hook. laughs> pressure's off. Uh, unfortunately, not for you, but uh, <laughs> but thanks for taking the time to uh, come in and just interact a little bit and mm -hmm. give our church family a chance to know you guys a little bit better. And we will continue to pray for Sunday and pray for you guys specifically and just see what God has for us. Okay, thank you. We're looking forward to Sunday. Looking forward to seeing those that are able to come. Or uh, those who are able to watch online, I hope that that's, uh, you get a good perspective of who we are and, and what we're like and the opportunity to see what that would look like to come and serve together.